just like to make a few comments. My name is Dr. Junta from Luzerne County. I'm a member of the Gas Drilling Awareness Coalition. And <laughs> sorry. Go ahead, sorry. And uh, first of all, we do not have forced pooling in Pennsylvania. Right. So they're not allowed to take your, your gas. However, that is being debated. The, our legislators are telling us now that gas companies will agree to pay a severance tax if they can get forced pooling in Pennsylvania. Ooh. So we need to tell our legislators that's totally unacceptable. Okay? There are measures now where the gas pipeline companies want to be called utilities in Pennsylvania. And if they become utilities, then they can take your land by eminent domain to run the pipelines through your land. So you need to talk to your legislators because that's going to be voted on this month also. Thank you so much for that. One thing I want to mention, though, is we are trying to get everybody together, every alliance in Pennsylvania together, to, number one, ask for a moratorium. So if you can go to gasdrillingawarenesscoalition.org, you can connect with our site, and we can help right. and possibly get together to form a... Exactly. That these are these sheets in the front, right? It's exactly. It's GDA Coalition. Right, right, which stands for Gas Drilling Awareness Coalition. GDA you can Coalition. Get these in the lobby. One other thing I want to mention. We're not helpless in the situation. There's a movement starting in Pennsylvania by the Community Environmental Defense, uh, Legal Defense Fund, uh, to start a process of civil disobedience where we get our township supervisors to pass ordinances to protect our water. The state says you can't do it, but it's a right. It's everybody's right to have clean water. And if we force our township supervisors to pass these ordinances, we have control, the gas companies don't have control. We don't want out-of-state gas companies telling us that they can take our minerals, extract them, poison our water, take their profits, put the gas on the open market, and we have to buy it just like China has to buy it, we get no breaks in Pennsylvania for this, other than our polluted water, and then they leave with the profits. We need to start taking our communities back. Can you announce the organ? Do you have a sign-up sheet for the organ? No, no. We're happy to share. Can you announce the name of the organization one more time? GDA Coalition. GD, GDA Coalition it stands for Gas Drilling Awareness Coalition org. We're also when you speak of civil disobedience and protest, I mean, and moratorium. Um, these are all, uh, I think, very important points. Um, I know that uh, between what we're trying to do with Gasland and the Oil and, Oil and Gas Accountability Project, we're also trying to help get resources about those things, about protests, about civil disobedience to you. So I know that Oil and Gas Accountability Project would be an ally to you in, 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 in figuring out those basic things. Because look, there's a way to do civil disobedience that it's right, and a way to do it that can get you in a lot of trouble. And you, you know, you need to, to be aware of those kinds of, of things because you don't want to break the law. You want to be in doing the thing that you have a right to do. So I think working with the, the organization to get those kind of advisors together so people can get trained in doing that is, is a smart thing. So you guys should have a conversation. Right. That, that can, the Community Environmental Legal Defense Fund, which you can find online, they're willing to supply free legal support to help with the lawsuits that are going to fly after this, uh, the communities vote for this. I want to make sure we get to take some more questions. Okay. At the end of tonight's session, what I'd like to do is split up into four parts of the room, and maybe you can take a corner, and we'll have Lynn, Lynn Senek and, and Vera Scroggins take a corner, and we'll take a corner, and you can come and ask us, and we can get those things organized. Let's take questions, though. Yeah. Craig. When, when he said that about the, uh, going to your township committee, uh -huh. we were all at our township committee last night, talking to the town supervisors. And they said, they told us, we only have control over the roads, we have no other say in anything. Is that true? Right. That's what they tell us, too. But that's not true. Not okay? True. You have a basic human right, but guaranteed by the Constitution and guaranteed by the Pennsylvania Constitution. Right. The Pennsylvania Constitution uh, guarantees us, Pennsylvania residents, clean water and a healthy environment. So, let's take questions. We got one over here. 